Hello students, we are going to discuss infarction. So what is infarct? An infarct is an area of ischemic necrosis that is caused by occlusion of either arterial supply or the venous drainage. So etiopathogenesis of infarct. If it is due to arterial occlusion or the arterial causes, they are atherosclerosis. It slowly blocks the vessel causing the infarction. If coronary artery is involved, it will lead to myocardial infarction. Cerebral artery atherosclerosis will cause cerebral infarction and renal artery occlusion or atherosclerosis will lead to renal infarction. Either due to thrombus, it can form, form on damaged endothelium leading to blockage of the vessels or embolism is involved or any kind of external pressure either due to tight fitted plaster that will occlude the arterial blood supply. Venous causes are strangulation of hernia or could be volvulus that is twisting of loop of intestine or intersusception. These three are mechanical obstruction to the venous flow and Another cause of venous obstruction is torsion of testis. In arterial and venous occlusions, there could be blockage of small vessels leading to renal infarct. When multiple emboli are showered from the valvular vegetations in bacterial endocarditis, they block multiple capillaries of kidney leading to multiple petechial hemorrhagic infarct known as flea beaten kidney. These are the multiple hemorrhagic petechial petechiae. This is flea beaten kidney. Sickle cell anemia. The sickle shaped RBCs in sickle cell anemia, they will block the capillaries that will lead to splenic infarct. In hemolytic anemia, due to cold antibodies, they cause autohemagglutination that will further lead to capillary obstruction leading to infarct. In decompression sickness, the dissolved gases, they will act as emboli, leading to infarction. And in case of bed sores, the external pressure that blocks the small vessels over the pressure points will lead to infarction and further gangrene. Types of infarct. Types of infarct. They are white infarct or red infarct according to the color. White infarct are also known as anemic or pale infarct, whereas red infarct are hemorrhagic infarct. And due to, uh, according to presence or absence of microbial agent, the infarcts are septic infarct and bland infarct. So this is table showing differences between red infarct and white infarct. Red infarct is also known as hemorrhagic infarct and white infarct is also known as pale or anemic infarct. The red infarct, it is caused by either arterial or venous occlusion, while white infarct is due to arterial occlusion. Red infarct, it is found in organs with dual blood supply, whereas white infarct is seen in end arterial circulation. Red infarct, it occurs in loose tissue, which allow blood to collect, while white infarct, it occurs in solid organs. The sites involved in red infarcts are ovary uh, due to venous occlusion or testis, torsion of testis, lung which is loose tissue, intestine that has dual blood supply. White infarct is seen in spleen, kidney, heart and leg. Grossly, the red infarct are firm and dark red. The white infarct are wedge shaped infarct and the apex is formed by the occluded vessel and periphery of area forms the base of the wedge. White infarct is usually well demarcated, pale and the borders are dark red in color. So white infarct is wedge shaped, apex is formed by the occluded vessel and periphery is formed by the base of the 
टिश्यू और एरिया इन्वॉल्व माइक्रोस्कोपिकली रेड इन्फॉक्ट शो कोटिव नेक्रोसिस and white infarct show coagulative necrosis with dense inflammatory infiltrate at the junction of normal and infarcted areas so this is the gross picture of white infarct of kidney it is wedge shaped the base is formed by the apex apex is formed by the occluded vessel and periphery of the base forms the base of the wedge the picture a is showing hemorrhagic infarct it is a lung and showing the hemorrhagic infarct roughly wedge shaped and this is white infarct this is the gross picture of testis showing torsion and this is micro photograph showing necrosis coagulative necrosis of testicular parenchyma it is red infarct so another example of red infarct or hemorrhagic infarct is small bowel grossly the small intestine which is tan colored and this is the micro photograph showing necrosis now septic infarct presence of bacterial infection in the necrotic infarcted area is known as septic infarct now etiopathogenesis is when fragments of vegetation from bacterial endocarditis so in case of bacterial endocarditis these vegetations they block an artery leading to infarction and the bacteria present in embolus it gets seeded on the infarcted area leading to septic infarct it may become a frank abscess and other etiology is bacteremia now factors influencing development of infarction first is nature of vascular supply the availability of an alternative blood supply is most important determinant of whether vessel occlusion will cause damage so the lungs liver hand and forearm they have dual blood supply lung have pulmonary and bronchial artery liver has hepatic artery and portal vein hand and forearm with have have dual Uh, radial and ulnar arterial supply so these all are relatively resistant to infarction while the renal and splenic circulations they are end arterial and vascular obstruction generally causes tissue death second factor is rate of occlusion development slowly developing occlusions they are less likely to cause infarction because they provide time to develop alternate perfusion pathways then vulnerability to hypoxia the neurons they undergo irreversible damage when deprived of blood supply for only 3 to 4 minutes while myocardial cells they are though hardier than neurons are also quite sensitive and die only after only 20 to 30 minutes of ischemia so neurons and myocardial cells they are quite sensitive in contrast fibroblasts within myocardium they remain viable even after many hours of ischemia now lastly oxygen content of blood a partial obstruction of small vessel that would be without effect in an otherwise normal individual that might cause infarction in an anemic or cyanotic patient so the oxygen content of blood is important factor causing for infarction thank you